all right uh, welcome guys uh, hello everyone so welcome back to another video so in the previous video we talked about uh, using logic app to you know get the notification about uh, expiring client secrets so after that i got a lot of mails and queries from a lot of uh, developers in the graph api community that uh, we need the same solution in powershell if it is possible or not so here we are uh, with the powershell solution of uh, this for the same problem so today we're gonna use powershell to notify users about their expiring client secrets so mind you uh, the powershell script that we're gonna use is internally gonna, gonna use the graph sdk and uh, we would be using graph sdk uh, the powershell sdk to send the mail as well so quickly i'll show you an example um, how it's gonna look like so this is the sample mail that I have been getting using the same PowerShell script that I have created uh, to notify me about my expiring client secrets. Okay, and uh, this is the link to the PowerShell script. Uh, so we would be using this, and I'll be pasting the li uh, link to this uh, GitHub repo in the description of the video. Okay, so this is my GitHub repo right now. I'll explain you the code and then we're gonna use this PowerShell script uh, to execute This particular scenario. All right apart from that um, The thing that I'm gonna use is Azure Runbook to run this PowerShell script because Azure Runbooks allow you to you know schedule the task and schedule the script basically to run whenever you want uh, weekly monthly or quarterly uh, same as what logic app does so i'll be using azure automation but you're not just limited to that you can use anything any technology uh, which you find handy working with powershell all right okay so let's get started with the script so let's ignore the first seven lines so i'll explain the details of first seven lines later let's start with line number nine Okay, so this is the variable that I'm using uh, application and using the get mg application uh, PowerShell commandlet to get the ID app ID display name and the password credential from the graph API Okay, so uh, If you remember in the previous video, we did a raw graph API call where we Use the get call on the applications API to get the app ID display name and its secret uh, client secret end date time so using the same powershell module so behind the scene it is basically using the same graph api query that we did in the previous video so once we have those details i'm just iterating over the application that we already have okay so we got the app id display name and the password credential now since password credential itself is an array object i'll have to do a for each on it as well so over here I, as you can see i'm getting the current date so this will get today's date uh, and days to check in days to check i have the end date time of the credential that i have in my app so this is basically what we need the end date time of the client secret and days to check again uh, what is the window that you would like to prefer so in my case um, i'm putting it 30 because um, i want to see whether is there any app in my tenant that is going to expire within the 30 days window so based on that you can uh, change the date over here all right so once i have that uh, i check the condition over here whether the date is less than what i need and if it is less than 30 then just print out the details okay so once i have printed uh, down these details what i do is i jot down the user id so this is the user id through which I'll be sending out the mail. So I'm currently I'm using my own email address, but you can be, of course use your shared mailbox or any mailbox to send the email. Okay, so we'll be sending the email using the graph API again. And then uh, the message body. So message body is basically what you see over here. So you can customize it according to your need. Uh, you can write anything. Okay, so in, in the message ID, I'm letting the end user know about the display name of the app and uh, to whom i want to send this mail to so currently i have displayed my name only but you can uh, go ahead and put on any distribution group or any any mailbox over here 
all right in the in the body i have i'm giving the details that we need that is the end date time and the location of the app that's all for the script and in the end the send mg user mail basically sends the mail to the user and this is where our powershell script concludes okay so i'll quickly show you the demo so let me go back to the runbook uh, so this is my runbook i have uh, pasted my powershell query so line number seven is basically connecting microsoft graph to my application uh, which is registered on azure ad okay so this is using application permission because there's no user interaction at all let me test this quickly so i'm um, in the test pane i'll click on run so in any moment we should see the mails coming over here and don't worry about the powershell script i'll be putting this link into the description so you can check this uh, check this whole script from there and our powershell script is still running okay it says welcome to graph and there you go and yeah so we have started to see the mails which are coming here so for all each app id which is going to expire i'm going to get a separate mail so there are i think a lot of uh, app ids who's <laughs> uh whose secret is going to expire in my tenant so this is the reason i'm still getting the mails okay i'll just close that i'll quickly uh, also explain you how to create a runbook account automation runbook so let me create automation runbook automation account so first thing that you'll need is to create an automation account and again uh, for you to do this you'll need uh, the azure subscription as well so i'll put it rg youtube and uh, account name is rg um account name youtube so you can you'll have to put a meaningful name um i'll just click on create so for me it is uh, getting created the automation account once the automation account is created you will have to create a runbook so once we are done with creating the automation account we'll move forward with the runbook so meanwhile till it is getting created i'll just copy this okay i think our resource is ready our uh, automation account is ready so there are few things that you need to configure uh, first is uh, when using the modules okay so as if you are already working with powershell you know each module that we run each commandlet that we run in powershell needs certain modules to be installed so you need to keep this in mind and install the modules that are needed so in my script if you go back to the readme modules i have specified what modules are needed um, to run this particular script so you have to go here and add the modules one by one all the modules that i have specified over here you need to click on gallery and uh, paste in the modules okay so i'll just quickly show you one of the modules okay i think it is copying the script instead of modules uh, okay there you go so this is the authentication module i'll have to select and then select the runtime version so based on the runtime version you'll have to select it accordingly for me it is i'm using 5.1 so i'll select 5.1 i'll click on import and it will import the module inside our run uh, inside our automation account similarly you'll have to add other uh, modules okay now to for the interest of our time i'm not going to install each and every module because i don't want this video to get really too long okay so once you have added all the modules you have to scroll down and go to the run as account okay so once you are here uh, you'll click on run as account so there are two ways you can do this since because uh, in order to run the graph api you need the user to be authenticated 
you can either use application permission or you can also use manage identity okay so in my case i'm i'm going to use create run as account but if you uh, would like to also have a video on managed identity please do let me know okay so i have uh, clicked on create run as account so what it's going to do is it's going to create an application on azure ad automatically and uh, it will assign the certificate to itself and now the app on azure ad will have permission to run the graph api query that we would be running inside this so once this gets created i'll show you that as well so okay it gave me an error but somehow uh, it, it it is working i'll put a duplicate tab i'll copy the application id to show you how it looks like and meanwhile i'll go back and uh, click on run book okay so i'll have to create a run book in order to run the powershell script i'll quickly give the run book name and run book type gonna be powershell and again the runtime version is 5.1 that's what i'm going to select uh, okay so we are on the other tab i'll go to azure active directory here you go uh, i'll need to go to the app registration and paste the app id that you got from the run book there you go so this is the application id app registration that our run book automation account created so you'll have to add permission so i'll also describe the permission that you will need in order to run this apis so first thing we'll need is mail.send and the second thing that we'll need is uh, application.readall so you'll have to click on add permission microsoft graph application permission and add those two permission okay so i'm not going to add the permission again uh, because i already have another app which is doing so and here uh, if you see if you go back and uh, check the run book okay we are created the run book and hopefully we have the run book Okay, so I'll click quickly go here and click on edit. And this is where you can paste your PowerShell script. If I go back to my script and I'll copy this and paste it over here. Oh man, I'll just copy it from here. Hopefully it would be okay, it's not copying. Okay, let me go back and show you the script that I already have in the other automation account. Okay, so inside the run book. So once you create the run book, you'll have to click on edit. And this is the command let. Okay, so the first line over here establishes the connection azure run as connection with the service principle it creates the service principle uh, the azure app that we talked about okay and uh, the second command gets the certificate okay so certificate i'm talking about is the app id again so if you go back to the azure active directory and uh, go to the app uh, you see in the client secret section there would be a certificate so the command so this is the certificate so this command basically gets that particular certificate and use connect mg graph using the client id application id tenant id and the certificate thumbprint to connect to the microsoft graph so this app is basically using the app registration which it has created okay and you need to add permission uh, in order to run this so once you have everything is in place you can just uh, click on test pane to test this over here manually otherwise um, if you have to schedule it you can go back and there's a schedule option there you can add a schedule okay so i think in the run in the in the automation itself you'll have to mention it over here yeah 
So I've already scheduled it uh, on the daily basis. So you can give a name to anything here and um, starts with you can select the time zone and reoccurrence based on however you want daily weekly monthly and um, yeah that's the setting that we have over here all right uh, hope you guys understood uh, how this is gonna run and how it's going to get executed and how the run book is configured i know it was a quick tutorial on how to do all of this but i wanted to keep the video short and simple but still if you guys have any other questions or queries related to this or any other videos uh, please feel free to let me know and i'll be happy to do another video on the same thing all right adios amigos thank you so much bye bye